I've got here the Magic Keyboard for the iPad and I want to show you how I'm using it for video editing because it is awesome for video editing. Now, I've got here basically four ways to interact with my video editing software, which I'm using LumaFusion. Uh, there is of course touch on the screen that works. Um, I have a Apple Pencil here so I can control stuff with that. But the keyboard gives me two additional options. I have this trackpad here as well and obviously the keyboard part. And it's the combination of the keyboard and the trackpad that really make for some fantastic shortcuts when editing video. And I just find this is uh, such a productive way of getting things done. So, so let's talk about why. Now, first of all, uh, this thing is very portable. You can take it wherever you want, sits on your lap. That's how I typically edit, is kind of lying on the sofa, or in bed, wherever. It's just very easy to bring with me. And I really like just using the trackpad here just to be able to scroll across the timeline, make selections here for, for my different clips and so forth. So just the, the trackpad alone is, is really quite worthwhile. But having the keyboard gives you the option of a number of keyboard shortcuts, which make things a little bit easier than just using touch alone. So uh, for example, if we click on uh, a clip here, now, if I want to, to line up my in point and out point for this video, I can use spacebar to play the video. And let's see, I can use the left and right arrows to get to the exact frame that I want. Now, I typically do this when I'm talking. So for example, here, I want to get to the audio just okay. before I start. There we go. I'm just gonna start talking here. And I press I, that is my in point move to the of the chest freezer. That's my out point. So I'm just using the keyboard there to select in and out, which is nice and convenient. And if I want to insert that clip um, into the timeline, then I just press W and it's, it's added it in. So I can really quickly go through the clips now, I and O, W, and it's uh, just a very quick way of adding things into the timeline and getting them um, where, where I really want them. Now, the other thing that the, uh, the keyboard really helps with is with navigating around the application uh, using the number keys. So for example, I've got a clip selected here. If I press one, that takes me straight into the fame, uh, frame and fit editor. If I press two, the speed editor, and if I press four, that's where I can set volume, and five, I can set my color correction here. And if I want to go back to the main LumaFusion screen, I just press this key to the left of one, and I go back home. That is so much easier to get through to these things than going through and clicking on the icons on the screen here and, and uh, then having to click the back button to go back and so forth. So keyboard shortcuts are just another super way that video editing is made just, just so much easier. Uh, also, <laughs> one of my favorite uh, key combinations is Command Z for undo, I use that one all the time as well. Now, yes, these are keyboard shortcuts that you need to learn, but actually, if you hold down the command key, it will show you all of the keyboard shortcuts that you need for, um, for whichever application you happen to be in. So I'm holding down command and I can scroll here and see all of the different keyboard shortcuts that are available to me. Now, I do still use the Apple Pencil. Um, I find this useful for precision, precision things. So for example, if I want to select this clip and I want to adjust the volume on it, uh, I can do that. So I'm gonna press four to go to volume. And there is no keyboard shortcut to take the volume up and down and it is kind of quite fiddly. So I just use the pencil here to adjust the volume and I can even just adjust it very precisely here uh, with this, this down arrow and this up arrow. So for some sort of precision tasks, um, trimming clips, things like that, I still use the pencil as well. So I've got this combination now of touch, the pencil, the trackpad, and the keyboard. And if you ask me, this just makes a fantastic little editing machine. The, the last thing to say about the iPad and LumaFusion in particular is there is no rendering. So unlike when I edit in Final Cut Pro, for example, and you make a change, zoom into something, for example, you need to render that change out if you want to play it back smoothly. Uh, this just 
doesn't have to do any of that. And when you export to YouTube, it's much faster to do that and, and, and so forth as well. So for me, this combination now of the smart keyboard and a, a LumaFusion video editing software is just the perfect way to edit video. I absolutely love it. That's all for this one. Let me know if you're doing video editing on an iPad. I'd love to hear from other people doing the same thing and I'll see you on the next one.